We will talk now about channel uh, failure modes. Um, remember, we were talking about specification of a service, and we were talking about what is the underlying model. We have talked before about assumptions on failure models for nodes or processes, as we use interchangeably. And now we are going to talk about failure models of channels. Failure models of channels. So that is what we are going to talk about now. So channel failure modes. One failure mode is which basically the simplest channel that you can imagine is a fair loss link. What is a fair loss link? It is uh, channels that deliver any message with a non-zero probability. It means um, when you send a message from one node to another, the message um, may arrive or may be lost in the network, but it is with non-zero probability that the message will arrive. It means if you keep in repeatedly sending the same message, it will be guaranteed that the message will arrive to the sender, the receiver. We distinguish this from network partitioning. Network partitioning is a situation where the network systematically drops all messages. Okay. We will discuss uh, the issue of network partitioning later in this course huh? in certain algorithms. So, a fail loss link somehow is modeled is modeling the internet lowest layer of communication, the UDP layer. You send the UDP packet, the packet may arrive or may be lost. The next type of channel we are going to talk about is stubborn links. It's a channel that deliver any message sent infinitely many times. So stubborn link abstraction we will see could be built on the top of a fair loss uh, link abstraction. Um, and then we will go further into more reliable channels. We have a channel which is what we call perfect links. And perfect links is that's what you, the, channel, the type of channel that we really want to have. Channels that deliver any message exactly once. There are other types of channels or links that are used in distributed system. One um, quite um, common type of channel is what is called logged perfect links. And these are channels that deliver any message into the receiver's persistent store or a message log. Okay. So by delivering it into the log, and then we know that uh, the receiver, sooner or later, even if he fails or recovers, will find uh, the message in that log. Um, uh, other types of channels are authenticated perfect links. These are channels that are that are used so that you can avoid security breaches over the link. So um, an authenticated perfect link guarantees that if a receiver, in this case uh, process Q, receives a message from process P, it knows that it is actually P that has sent this message. 